Well, in other news, former Arkansas governor turned presidential hopeful Mike Huckabee is in northwest Arkansas tonight. Yes, and he's been kind enough to join us live now from Rogers for a quick interview. Mr. Huckabee, thanks for taking the time. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks. All right, now, Mr. Huckabee, you have a great many people who have said that as a man that is pro-life, anti-gay marriage, and pro-gun, that you should be the favorite for conservatives in the Republican Party. Are you finally feeling that kind of support after what some have called a slow start? Well, it really hasn't been a slow start. It's been that uh, we didn't have the uh, sort of uh, maybe a jump start that a lot of folks had. But this weekend in South Carolina, we won a straw poll in Spartanburg. is very significant uh, in that we surprised a lot of people. Last week in New Hampshire, picked up the key endorsements of some of the state's leading political figures. And uh, a week ago in uh, Iowa, wonderful uh, traction there with, uh, again, some key people coming aboard. So in the areas where it matters, these early states, the traction's beginning to develop and, and we're beginning to see some momentum that we were looking for. Now, Mr. Huckabee, you've been quoted as saying that you're the GOP's best chance when it comes to defeating Hillary Clinton. Can you kind of elaborate on, on why you believe that? Well, none of the Republicans know her better than me. And uh, if people are wanting a contrast of candidates between someone who's going to be a little left of center and somebody who's right of center, uh, that matchup would give it to them. But I also think that I would be a candidate who would be respectful. I understand how good of a candidate she is. Uh, but I also think that there's enough difference that the people of America uh, would have a clear choice uh, to be able to, to make. All right, and I understand those earpieces can be irritating, Mr. Huckabee, so bear with us. Yeah. We also want to ask you again about fundraising. There was a recent article, and I realize it's a different category, but it was comparing Senator Mark Pryor with your fundraising efforts, saying that in the first three months, Mark Pryor had done quite well, and then comparing your fundraising efforts. Are you feeling like you're doing better at this point? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think, first of all, you got to remember, he's been a United States senator now for several years and had the fundraising apparatus to start. I announced for uh, candidacy in early February and had to start from zero and was not a sitting office holder at the time. So it's a much different uh, process, but we're where we thought we would be, where we knew we needed to be at this point of the game. So uh, optimistic and the best thing for us is the people of Arkansas are really coming through in a very uh, positive and, and dynamic way. This earpiece is not cooperating with me, but the people <laughs> of Arkansas are. That's the good news. He handled it well. All right. Thank you for your time. And we'll be meeting with you later tonight to get some more information for you as you make this bid for the 2008 presidential race. There you go. Well, coming up later. In, thanks. All right. Thank you, Mr. Huckabee.